in-ring performer to a entertainer to a raw general manager that lasted about two to three months and now she's involved in this alleged affair with John Cena and an inappropriate relationship with Dolph Ziggler who was previously involved with Vicky Guerrero. To me, the only purpose that AJ's heel transition is serving is for the talents that she's representing as a managerial role or a valet, whatever you want to call her. What you need to do with AJ is you need to get rid of this rut, you need to have her competing in the Divas Division against whoever the Divas Champion is, even if it's Caitlyn, and you have to have history repeat itself between Caitlyn and AJ when they were a team on Friday Night SmackDown. To me, that would make more sense. If Caitlyn was the Divas Champion, let's say she eventually captures the Divas Championship from Eve, and she's searching for a number one contender for the Divas Championship to feud with. You can have history repeat itself between AJ and Caitlyn, you can have them out in a robbery on SmackDown, let's say, and to me, AJ's heel transition would make perfect sense, as opposed to having a ruin a character like Dolph Ziggler, who is eventually going to be a future world champion. To me, Dolph Ziggler can be left on his own to focus on his career from a solo perspective, because to me, he fits the mold of a Mr. Perfect or a Ric Flair from the early 1990s. Having AJ involved with Dolph Ziggler could be sufficient if AJ was doing something beneficiary for herself. The only thing beneficiary AJ is doing is benefiting talents like Dolph Ziggler and other wrestlers from NXT. Uh, I think that she needs to be wrestling more because then she can focus more on her in-ring character. She can focus on herself. But by not having a wrestle, it takes away a lot of credibility that she eventually achieved when she first premiered as one of the top three divas on NXT Season 3. The best way of putting this into perspective for any wrestling fan would be to YouTube a lot of AJ's NXT footage. Because in NXT, she was consistently wrestling from week to week. She was in storylines not only with other divas, but with other wrestlers. And to me, she had a connection with the WWE fans unlike any of the other five individuals that were competing on NXT. You take that away, you make her a consistent entertainer as opposed to an in-ring performer by having her have roles like a Raw General Manager or a Valet, which she is not ready for, especially in the role of a Raw General Manager, if she was a diva in the way of a Stacey Keebler, who had made 10 previous years of contributions to the professional wrestling business and was able to build up a consistent fan base that she could rely on, I could understand her being a Raw General Manager. If you take Trish Stratus, who has been in the wrestling business for, let's say, 10 years, you make her a Raw General Manager, then I can see the role making perfect sense. But if you take a new talent that used to star who has a lot to learn and a long way to go in the professional wrestling business in the way of AJ and you make her the raw general manager for four to five months, it's going to make no sense to anyone, especially fans who are not accustomed to seeing a diva like AJ. But if you take Trish Stratus, who wrestling fans are used to, who they've seen perform both inside and outside of the ring on a regular basis, you make her the raw general manager or even a CEO or a commissioner, it makes perfect sense. We've seen it done before in the past. But you take a talent like AJ or even Tiffany, who was the ECW general manager, you make them a general manager of Raw and SmackDown or NXT, and it makes no sense whatsoever. What you need to do to introduce a talent like AJ, who has been one of the most unpredictable divas in the WWE for at least the last seven, eight months, is you need to have her promote herself as a heel character competing for top contention to the Divas Championship, which is a championship and an accolade I hold the belief that one day we will see AJ achieve. But if you don't have her establish some form of consistency in her division, then you're going to run into a lot of problems, and problems that are going to be unable to be corrected. And that's one of the biggest concerns that I have for AJ. Along with that, she's not only ruining her character, but she's ruining other characters that she's becoming involved with. She's kind of like Kelly Kelly in the early years of Kelly Kelly's career. Everything that Kelly Kelly touched in the WWE outside of being an in-ring performer, she ruined. She ruined the career and the potential of Balls Mahoney. She ruined the career of The Miz in the first few years. She ruined the career of Kane. She ruined the career of Randy Orton. She's done it all. She really has had a Midas touch, especially in the first few years of her career. And I think AJ is certainly having that kind of uh, quality, if you will, 
rub off on her. She needs to kind of get out of that rut. She needs to compete regularly in the Demons Division, and until she does that, I will not have any confidence in AJ being a heel character. To me, when she turned heel for the first few weeks, I was like, awesome. We're going to see AJ utilized to her fullest potential. We're going to see more in the way of credibility. We're going to see more unpredictable things coming from her, but we haven't seen that yet. If anything, all we've seen for AJ is we've seen AJ contribute to the downfall of careers such as John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if by 2014, Dolph Ziggler isn't there. If by 2014, John Cena's gone on to pursue a movie career. We saw Stone Cold Steve Austin do it. We definitely saw The Rock do it. And it's because they've had their careers potentially in a disasterful situation, which seems to be inescapable, and they realize they got to get the fuck out of Dodge before they had their entire reputation, let alone their wrestling career, ruined. And I think that wrestlers that AJ have been involved with over the past at least six months are eventually going to reach that point of realization, where they'll realize, okay, they can achieve more outside of the wrestling business. They have no purpose of being there. To me, Dom Ziggler fits the mold of a future WWE World Champion, but he will not be WWE World Champion until he can get himself away from the likes of Vicky Guerrero and AJ who can have a successful rivalry but it needs to be kept separate from what's going on between John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. As I said here earlier, Dolph Ziggler does not need a manager. If anything, Dolph Ziggler already has a manager and his manager right now is the World Heavyweight Championship briefcase. AJ has been described as the most unpredictable character in the WWE by a lot of radio shows and columnists, but she's been described that because of her contributions not only as an entertainer, but as an in-ring performer who has a switch that can be flipped. To me, she's a miniature version of Karma right now, who can be an eventual WWE Divas Champion or at least a top contender. But it's because of that lack of confidence that I've had for AJ, especially over the last six to seven months, uh, when she can be competing more inside of the ring. I have no explanation as to why AJ is not competing as much as she should be in the WWE Divas division. If you have an explanation, you can leave it for me at the bottom of this YouTube video. To me, AJ is just in a bit of a rut, and I think the reason why she's not competing as much is because WWE have a lack of confidence in AJ and until they get rid of that lack of confidence and have her competing in the WWE Divas division we're not going to see AJ utilized to her fullest potential when AJ was first announced as a WWE Diva and she first was introduced in the WWE she had that Christy Hemi type feel to her that fun gosh so darn it glad to be here personality she definitely perceived herself as a diva who was going to be a top contender or a future Divas Champion. Now all she's doing is perceiving herself as an idiot and a slut. In the words of Chris Jericho, a bottom-feeding trash bag ho, which is a terminology that has been utilized in WWE that I think can be re-implemented. Because all you're doing for AJ and the talents that AJ is being involved in is contributing to the downward uh, spiral that their careers will eventually take. One of the biggest faults that WWE have always exemplified, especially over the last five to six previous years, is how they've allowed feuds to coincide with one another, especially on their live shows like Raw. You take John Cena and Dolph Ziggler, for example. They're consistently coinciding their feud with a feud that's going on either between AJ and Tamina or AJ and Vicky Guerrero. John Cena and Dolph Ziggler for their careers in future years do not need it, especially John Cena, who's going into one of the biggest matches of his career at WrestleMania 29, either with The Undertaker or with The Rock. You need to keep John Cena and Dolph Ziggler's feud separate from a feud that's going on between AJ and Vicky Guerrero. You saw this same kind of thing with Eve. Eve eventually got herself out of the rut and catapulted herself to a future deepest championship which she is currently holding. You need to do this same kind of thing for John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. John Cena and Kane's feud from 2012 earlier this year was able to give John Cena the momentum heading into a match against The Rock and it turned out to be one of the most successful matches in WrestleMania history. You do that same kind of thing with Dolph and Cena where their feud is kept separate from anything else going on on Raw and then you have John Cena heading down a road that is more confident and more prospitable. But now what you're doing 
is you're having John Cena and Dolph feud along with other feuds like AJ and Vicky Guerrero that desperately needs to be kept separate from what's going on between John Cena and Dolph Ziggler and you're having these feuds head down very precarious roads. I've written a column for In This Corner with Jonathan Clark from my website called AJ's Recent Change of Heart Within the WWE and basically what the column is referencing and referring to is how you've taken one of WWE's most unpredictable characters and basically ruined them. I thought about ways of perceiving this video blog prior to creating it for my YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 and I figured the best way after making careful consideration of perceiving this video blog would be to come on here and produce a shoot and that's exactly what I did so with that being said I'm opening up the floodgates so to say and I want your opinion on AJ's change of heart you can contribute your opinion by joining the conversation on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Entertainment. You can follow me on Twitter where you'll find a lot of AJ tweets at twitter.com slash JonathanClark1 and for past video blogs of my radio show from 2012 you can uh, join the conversation on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash JonathanClark22. Hopefully 2013 will be a prominent year for those like John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, AJ, Vicky Guerrero and most of the WWE's new talent that used to roster, I'm predicting by at least the fifth or sixth month of 2013. That'll bring us up to the halfway point of next year. AJ will be the WWE Divas Champion, and I'll have something more prominent to talk about in the way of a written column or a radio show. Hopefully by June or July of next year, I'll be talking about how proud I am of AJ for acquisiting her first Divas Championship. Those are the hopes that I have for AJ, because honestly, 2012 was a very lackluster year for AJ, and I say that because not in the way of how she was used creatively, because having her be the Raw General Manager was really one of the high points of AJ's career. I say that because AJ's career went in so many different directions, you were kind of left in a WTF moment, you were wondering what in the fuck they were doing with AJ's character, and now at the end of 2012, we're still uncertain heading into 2013, what they're going to be doing with AJ in the months to come, in the early part of 2013. I hope she's found a way into a WWE Divas Championship match by WrestleMania 29. 